Before we get started, I wanted to thank today's sponsor, Redstone Studios. Whether you're looking to just record some tracks or push your creative boundaries, Redstone Studios has you covered. They're friendly, professional, and they produced my second album, Postcards from the Sun, from start to finish. Now, on with the show. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today's video is the sixth and possibly last in a series of Now What? episodes covering questions every beginning musician faces in their music career. If you haven't seen the first five videos, make sure you check them out when this video is over. Like the title says, this video is about that moment your band calls it quits, whether equally decided or because too many quit to keep it going. It happens to most of us at some time, but it doesn't have to mean an end to your musical journey. In this video, we'll get into that and more, but right now, I just need some space, okay? <laughs> If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Regardless of the reason your band broke up, it's never a happy day when it happens. The initial response might be anger or feelings of betrayal, but really, it might be just what you need to catapult your musical career forward. If a member or members left because of life, such as moving for work or, or some medical reason that cuts off their ability to, to perform, things are a little easier to take. If the breakup was for other reasons, though... Assuming you want the music to continue, now might be a good time to step back and look at things objectively. Take stock of who's still left that wants to make music together and build from there. If there are still shows to, uh, to play, who can fulfill these obligations? The last thing you want is a reputation for canceling shows or missing them altogether. Is now the time to go solo? It's a dynamic change in how music gets made and shared, but the rewards might be worth it. I've done both and I've covered their pros and cons in this video here. Another option to going solo might be a duo or a three-piece until more members can be found again. Were you the main songwriter or lyricist? If not, maybe now's the time to step up and explore your potential. It worked for me and Dave Grohl, and it could for you. What do you have to lose? Your band's already broken up. Of course, you can always join another band. A lot of bands are missing that crucial last member, and maybe it's you. Just don't bring any baggage from your last band's breakup with you into this new relationship. Which leads me to the most important tip about dealing with a band breakup. Whatever you do, do not Put your ex-band members on blast on social media or badmouth them when you're out and about in the scene. It's a small world after all, and what goes around comes around. Don't be that person. Just don't. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and it was useful information. The next series of Now What? videos hasn't been decided yet, so now's your chance to be heard. Let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me tackle, and I'll try to make it happen. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Make sure you do right there and click the bell so you'll be notified when new videos get posted. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, click here. If you'd like to support the channel, love you. Click a link down in the description. Remember to be amazing and we'll see you next time on Room 6.